Hey, welcome to Tribe Theory Spotlight Bali Edition. I'm your host Peter Duan and I'm here with Mari Chari. Hi. And Mari Chari is a famous Filipina travel blogger uh, who has traveled all over the world. How many countries have you traveled to, by the way? About 24. 24, very okay. Specific, yeah. Very nice, very <laughs> nice. And what brings you out to Bali? Um, because everyone goes here. Okay. And um, I'm trying to complete the Southeast Asia countries mm -hmm. to visit, and this is my third to the last. Third to last? Yeah, okay. Indonesia is third to the last. So I see. Two more countries, and I'm done with Southeast Asia. Awesome, awesome. So, how long have you been travel blogging for? Um, I started like. 2015 okay but i was not serious until like 2017. okay and what was the genesis and the reason for why you wanted to travel in the first place and to document it all the funny thing is i didn't want to travel really yeah i didn't but i hated my manager in the philippines i was like <coughs> in a restaurant for three months and then i'm like i'm quitting and um my sister asked me do you want to go to denmark to do uh to be an au pair uh -huh. and then i said if it's in Europe, sure. Yeah. And she said, yeah, because I didn't know anything about like geography. Then I went and then after Denmark, I didn't want to go home. Uh -huh. So I, I said that I need to make it work. So I need to find a way to travel and then uh, uh, make money. And so would you say the travel blog is your major source of income? Yes, it is. And how, would, how do you monetize your travel blog? And for all those people who are interested in traveling and starting their own travel blog, what are some things and lessons that you learned along the way? Um, my income mostly came uh, come from affiliate marketing okay. and also um, ad revenue. Okay. And then could you um, sorry? Could you explain <laughs> what affiliate marketing is? Basically, um, if someone if I write an article what to do in Bali and then I link to um, tours you can book online or accommodations like Booking.com, uh -huh. Hustle World, and every time someone click on that link and book something, I make a very very small commission. Uh -huh. So that is affiliate marketing. Mm -hmm. But now. Or, yeah. Sorry, uh, but now you've gained how many monthly subscribers that now you can afford this lifestyle? I have about 85,000 per month. Wow, that's a lot. People who go to the blog. Yeah. yeah, and what would you say is the number one or two things that uh, a travel blogger should do or focus on in order to make it sustainable for them? I think it's the commitment that you want this to make work, that you don't want to starve and you don't want to... <laughs> Like, um, you don't want to end up like calling your parents and like, I need to go home or can you send me money? Um, yeah, it's just, you want to make it work just, you know, for yourself. For sure. Yeah, uh, you want to do it for yourself. Uh, so as a new content creator myself, I con constantly wrestle with a part of always trying to create new engaging content. So how mm -hmm. do you go about, um, you know, teasing out some ideas and then really making a beautiful article out of it? I think, um, it depends what's your goal. I always say that people blog in different reasons. Mm -hmm. Some people, they just want to, in the beginning, I just want to um, document my travels. And then eventually, uh, you want to write for, uh, and then there's another reason that you want to share information. Mm -hmm. And then another reason is you want to inspire or, or also if you want to be good in social media mm -hmm. or in technical side. Mm -hmm. So what I do is um, I really like to share my thoughts, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I want to rank my articles on first page. Mm -hmm. So I do the technical side and then to see if this keyword will work. Mm. And if it works, and then I will write in the way that I would like to write it. So you would say and recommend to fellow travel bloggers to really understand SEO or search engine optimization, yes, yes. right? Yes, If you really want to make an income, you have to know what SEO is. Gotcha. And, and as you were learning, what were some of the best tools and resources that you used to help you with this process? Um, I use Keysearch because it's the cheapest. <laughs> and I have friends who use um, Arabs okay. and SEMrush and sometimes Sometimes I ask him, can you look this up for me? Okay. If it's, um, key, key search is not the most accurate, but it's pretty close because it's, you know, it's the cheapest option, so. Gotcha. And <laughs> for all those viewers back home, we're definitely going to include those tools in the links below and the description below. So yeah, look out for those. Um, but anyways, let's bring it back to Bali and especially Tribe Theory. You've mm -hmm. obviously traveled to 24 different countries at this point. You've seen all these different types of hostels across the world. What made you choose Tribe Theory? Um, so I was in Shango in a hostel, uh -huh, and yeah. then we're looking at, we know that we want to go to Bali because we wanted to meet people who work online. Mm -hmm. So we tried to look if there are any co-working space or co-living houses that we can find. And then we're looking on uh, Airbnb, and then we found them. Then we saw, also saw them in uh, Booking.com. Uh -huh. And then 
So we were like, okay, this obviously look uh, for digital nomads. So, yeah. So let's take a look if they have fast Wi-Fi. Because uh -huh. um, my friend, he, uh, he teaches English online, so we need a fast Wi-Fi. Yep. And then so we came out here, and it's just beautiful. And it's so affordable, so we're like, okay, we're doing it. Definitely. Yeah. And then big reason why I personally love Tribe Theory is the fact that a lot of like-minded people are yes, here. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you guys have been to Bali or not, but Bali is no more of a Western touristy place. So for me, I was kind of apprehensive about being around a lot of travelers who just wanted to party all the time. But here in Tribe Theory, you find people who are uh, both engaged in their business, but also like to have a good time, which mm -hmm. attracted me to yes. Tribe Theory in the first place. It's amazing to meet people who have uh, different ideas and then come together brainstorm and collaborate yes and they have different stories that's really interesting perfect perfect and so we're gonna wrap this up by um, t having you talk a little bit about your website and where you're gonna take your website in the f coming future um, yeah so right now I just keep um, writing articles that I think uh, would help a lot of people to get information about different places I've been and at the same time I would like to keep um, uh, that like keep telling to people that they should at least try to travel even if it's not for them give it a shot and then so I guess that's just for now I mean I don't really know how long I want to blog sure but right now it's fun and then it's um, it's making money so that's good perfect. perfect yeah so that I think that's it for now and then we'll see well thank you so much for your time you're welcome hey everybody thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to tribe theory media for more videos you can watch it off to the right see you guys next time